back here, I go to pull it, yeah, it doesn't work. Uh oh. Look where I'm at. I use his arm to make arm bar. See that? Whoop. And now guess what? He's gonna go. <laughs> right up and over, just like that. Very easy, right? Now, let's learn another lock from here. When I go here, remember that nerve I told you to step on before? Let's step on it now and lock this. See, now watch. Slide to the fingers, walk around, and you've got a prisoner. <laughs> got that? That's called step to the deltoid tendon. And so we go from the top here, and like this, and stop that. I go here, I bump that, go in for my arm bar. See that? Or I go under it, go for my arm bar. It doesn't matter, it'll work either way. See that? If I want to make a really hard throw, you can leg sweep this. But not necessary, just a little pressure and they'll fall over. Any way I want to go right now, I can do it. Okay? If I want to knuckle, I'd actually let go of this one. You grab this one and pull. If I want to step to the deltoid tendon, I hold this one, let go of that one, and step down and lock. Now step around. The hand will open when you step around. I had a guy tell me, he says, my hand's not going to go open. I said, go ahead and make a fist. He said, it's not going to open. I said, want to bet? Ah, it's open now. <laughs> when you put enough pressure on this nerve on your arm, your fingers will open up. It doesn't want any tension. Your body's smarter than you. Your body says, if I tense this, here, watch. Put your, put your hand underneath on this nerve, right by your elbow. Push up against it so you can feel the tendon itself. You feel it? Yep. Tighten up. You felt it get tighter, didn't you? Your body knows that. It says, dang, that hurts. Open up. So now we went from this lock to this lock. That's a nice, easy transition to, into a finger lock. You understand? Yes, sir. Uh, if you wanted to get a finger lock on somebody, and you couldn't get it to happen. That's another way to do it. Leon likes that. Leon J, he'll do something he'll block a punch, he'll be here, and he'll pop you. He'll just take his hand, you got a fist there. He'll just pop it with his knuckles here, and make your hand open, see? And then grab fingers and go. Or he'll, he'll shoot it this way, and grab fingers and go. So there's always a way to be able to get a finger if that's what you really want. And it just, you have to think about how could you apply it. Wow, we just did it again. Somebody stop me, I can't keep doing cotton. You see, because if the punch was here, it could just move. Even if I'm here, it's still the same. All I do is double hug. I get pericardium, you see what I have in his hand? Boop. Now I got fingers. He's making a fist, look at this. What's this look like? Why would you go to a metal stance? I'm attacking the metal point on his arm. So if I pop the metal, it makes it easier. Now I've got a finger. Now I've got locks. You understand? This is a two-finger center lock. This is a two-finger come along. This is a two-finger center lock. This is a reverse. This is a back control. See that? It's all right there because you know how to flow it. But we're not after all that. What are we after? This one? That's not. <laughs> Isn't it funny when you're gentle with somebody, they just look at you? Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh I forgot. This could have hurt, didn't it? Okay. So, right from there, I have this one straight on, or I can move under and go this way. Either way. Um, uh, Master Dillman, not George, but Kim, uses that technique for a bear hug from behind. Somebody comes and put you in a bear hug, go over my arms. Yeah. See, she goes like this, and there's the move. She'll grab, she steps up, and does this. Let's see what you can cut. You guys know that one? That's one of her applications for that movement. Okay. We're doing the same thing, but we're doing it from our track. It's here, and there's the first one. See? And then what? How do I go? Under, because I went for my throw. Ah, my throw didn't work. So I apply my arm bar all the way. 
all the way. He goes to the ground, now it's a choice. Knuckles this way, step to the deltoid tendon this way. Things go bad, back up plank. Right to the fingers, okay? Always leave yourself an exit. You're gonna go into a technique that's dangerous, always have an exit. Stepping to the deltoid tendon can be extremely powerful, but it can also be dangerous. This is my exit plan if it goes bad. I got your fingers, and I create a base. Small circle jujitsu, and take no prisoners. Got it? Okay, let's do play.